Okay, so I've picked up many jobs growing up, but one thing I never expected to be was a girl's assistant. Like I was an assistant. Can you imagine your parent walking up to me saying, oh, can you be my daughter's or son's assistant? Yeah, never expected it. But obviously before the story starts, make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also I am live on kick streaming, telling crazy stories just like this live. But anyways, let's just jump straight into it. Yo, what is going on you guys? My my name's Bubba and welcome back to an insane story. So today's story takes place back when I was actually out of high school. I remember out of high school, I didn't become a YouTuber right away because obviously I didn't end up actually making this a job until like two years later. But I remember I was jumping job to job and one time I worked at a construction site. I was working on a construction site and I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty jacked. And me, I ended up gaining a lot of muscle and I basically ended up getting more attractive than I am now. I will admit I lost a lot of weight but that's because I sit on a computer all day, beating my meat and playing games. Okay, that sounds really sad. But going on, I remember what ended up happening is basically one time when I was working the construction site, I was doing the normal thing and moving some two by fours to another part of the construction site. Until I remember when I was unloading it from the truck, I ended up seeing a guy with a really nice car walk up to me. He walked up to me and said, excuse me, how old are you? Oh, like I'm 19, just out of high school is what I told him. And he ended up telling me, well, how long have you been working here for? Uh, I don't know know like a couple months why what's up he ended up saying well how much did they pay you here now when he asked how much they paid me i thought he was probably like another dude from another construction site probably trying to hire me so i ended up telling him i don't know like 20 bucks an hour he looked at me and said what if i told you you can work with me for 50 bucks an hour 50 bucks an hour is what i told him now 50 dollars an hour is like crazy crazy money that most people can't give so i ended up looking at him laughing saying okay dude there's no way and that's when he told me no there is a way uh do you know anything about being an assistant. Now, when he said assistant, I thought like maybe an assistant to the construction site or something. So I ended up telling him, oh yeah, like I have a lot of experience. Why? Just so I can, you know, get this job that he was offering. And that's when he told me, here, here's my address on the card. Just uh, take it and uh, I'll meet you at my place tomorrow morning. Seven. Don't show up for work here. Come straight to my place. I ended up looking at him and saying, oh, thanks. And I grabbed the card away from his hand and held it. But as I was holding it, I remember he looked at me one more time and told me, oh, by the way, wear a suit. A suit is what I said. And then he walked away. I remember that day I ended up going home and I told my parents about what happened and they said to maybe go check it out. And I remember when I read the business card, I was really confused because this guy's name was like apparently a really well-known name in my city. The next day, I remember I ended up basically going to my car and wearing a really nice suit that I wore for grad. And I basically ended up driving with my blue Toyota Silica all the way to his house. When I got there, I remember I looked around for the house, but honestly, I couldn't find it until I realized that it was gated by a super large white fancy gate and when i saw this gate i'm like bro there is no way he lives here i remember the gate opened and i instantly saw that this house was like a mega mansion like a mega mega mansion like it's almost bigger than drake's okay it's not bigger than drake's but you guys get what i mean it was insane i remember i looked around and i started really realizing that people that are rich really have a good life and from there i ended up parking my car getting out of it and instantly right as i got out of my car i ended up seeing a basketball hit my hood of my car. I remember I saw it and I'm like, hey, like, where did the ball come from? And that's when a kid walked up to me wearing a really preppy school uniform from like a private school. And he told me, oh, like, sorry. Oh, you must be the new assistant is what he told me. Um, yeah, I'm looking for uh this guy. I ended up basically telling him the name and he told me, oh, that's my dad. I'm um, here. I could show you where to go. He ended up grabbing like the sleeve of my jacket and dragging me to the front door. And when we went to the front door, I remember instantly the door opened opened and there he was. He looks at me and says, oh, I see you met my son. Yeah, a cool kid is what I said. So, um, am I going to be your assistant is what I told him. And then that's when he said, oh, no, no, no. You're going to be my kid's assistant. Your kid's assistant is what I told him. And then that's when I told him that I wasn't a babysitter. Afterwards, he's like, oh, no, 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 not him, her. I ended up looking around, seeing what he meant by her. And that's when I looked at this grand staircase that he had inside the house. And that's when I saw her come down. It was a girl that was wearing a really really high-end like designer outfit and she was walking down the stairs saying oh dad who's here now and that's when her dad said oh it's the new assistant that i hired for you i remember this girl looked at me and just started smiling i don't know why but her eye contact with me was like scary because she would stare me down like a hawk i didn't know what i was doing and i was really confused but i ended up saying oh uh yeah i'm your new assistant I'm trying to play it cool so i don't look really dumb because i did tell this guy that I had experience i remember from there she instantly 
literally went inside her like purse that she had and ended up throwing me car keys to a Lamborghini and said, oh, okay, well, can you pull out the car? Like, we got to go for a drive. Um, okay, is what I said. And from there, I ended up basically opening the garage door and I saw a bright blue Lamborghini just sitting there. I look at it and I unlocked the door, opened it, and I basically just waited. I waited outside the car door by, you know, the driver's side door. And when the girl walked out, I opened the door for her, but she didn't get in. She looked at me and said, what are you doing? Um, opening the door for you? Yeah, I know, but aren't you supposed to open the passenger door? The passenger door is what I said. And that's when she said, uh, yeah, you're my assistant. You drive my car. Oh, okay. So I ended up opening the passenger side door. And then afterwards I got into the driver's seat of a Lamborghini and drove this girl around. Honestly, I will say this much. It was the best thing ever. I got to drive this girl everywhere. As we were driving though, I remember halfway through when we were listening to some music, I think we were listening to Kesha of all things. She ended up turning down the music and said, you're not like the other assistants. Where are you from? And how old are you? Oh, um, I'm 19 and I worked at a construction site. Actually, I never actually been an assistant, but don't tell your dad that please is what I told her. And that's when she started laughing and saying, oh, you're cute. And then afterwards turned back up the music. She called me cute. And I didn't know why, but I was kind of confused going on from there. I remember we ended up taking her to the mall. We had a good time and I'm not going to lie. One thing I realized about this girl is that she was being really flirtatious with me. Like anywhere we went, she would grab my arm. She would basically get really close to me. And she even offered to buy me a couple things, which I did not take by the way, because I didn't want her dad knowing that she was buying me things. But going on from there, I remember as me and this girl were walking around, I ended up seeing my ex-girlfriend at the mall and this girl that I was assisting was with me. And I remember I ended up kind of panicking because you know that feeling when you see your ex somewhere and you just don't want to see them, but you start panicking. I had that feeling and I kind of froze. And I remember the girl that I was assisting looked at me and said, what's wrong? And she saw that I was staring at this girl and said, oh, like, do you like her or something? No, no, that's my ex-girlfriend is what I told her. And that's when she ended up coming really close to me. And then my ex-girlfriend ended up seeing me be close to this girl and what she did afterwards when my ex looked at me was this girl that I was with assisting ended up kissing me right in the mall in front of her. Wow, is what I said afterwards. Why'd you do that for? And then that's when she said, oh, I just wanted to make her jealous. And then we ended up walking away and we actually ended up going straight back to the Lamborghini. And right as I got into the Lamborghini, my ex was at the door seeing me walk around with this girl. We basically ended up getting in the car and driving back home. I remember I was really just kind of weirded out that she kissed me, but at the same time, I didn't really know what to think. And then I remember when we got home, her dad wasn't home and me and her, we ended up basically going up to her room and I basically stood by the door waiting. I didn't enter the girl's room because, well, I didn't know if I was allowed to. And then one thing led to another. I remember this girl ended up looking at me saying, oh, like, can you get the shower ready? The, the shower is what I said. Yeah. Like go turn on the water. Don't be such a weirdo. And then instantly from there, I remember I went to the bathroom and saw this amazing, massive bathroom. Like this thing was the highest quality bathroom I've ever seen in my life. Like, even has those toilets that shoot up water. Isn't that like cool or what? Anyways, after I turned on the shower, I remember turning around and instantly right there, I saw the girl that I was assisting, the rich guy's daughter. And basically she was wearing a robe and that's it. Nothing else. She was just wearing a robe. I remember I looked at her saying, oh, sorry, I'll get out of here is what I told her. And then she ended up saying, um, okay, if you want. And that's when she ended up taking off her robe and she was, well, not wearing anything in front of me. Like she was wearing nothing, not even under. Underwear. I remember I looked at her and I'm like, uh, okay. And one thing led to another. She ended up coming really close to me and kissing me again. And let's just say we ended up doing the devil's tango in the bathroom. Yeah, I'm not even joking. We did it in the bathroom. Out of all the places to do it in the mega mansion, we did it in the bathroom. Anyways, we ended up going in the shower as well. And I took a shower and so did she. And I remember after we finished the shower, I ended up getting my clothes on and I ended up basically walking out of the bathroom with her. And obviously, I put on my suit, but my hair wasn't fully dried yet. And when me and her both walked out of the bathroom, her dad was outside the bathroom door and basically saw me and her walk out and I got fired. Yeah, I got fired out of a job for 50 bucks an hour. And also, you know what's the worst part? He only paid me half. Anyways, guys, that is basically it for today's story. Make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And like I always say, just follow for more embarrassing but crazy stories. Peace out, guys.